YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Obi, back with another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment, share the video, all of that. As you see, I'm right outside Spartan Defense, the number one gun store in Colorado. I mean, I mean, hands down, period. I mean, if you watch my last videos on the store, you, you already know what they got. But if you watch one of my last videos, you've seen that I did a top five lowest cost, budget friendly pistols, rifles, everything that they had to offer. So today, upon you guys' request, I'm gonna do the top five most expensive items that they have to offer. Pistols, rifles, shotguns, whatever they have. Top five that they have to offer. So let's go ahead and go in there and show y'all what they got. Okay, so we did call ahead and I already got them all set up and stuff like that. So I think they starting to slow down because they're about to close. But we did already have stuff that was picked out. But as you see, because I told y'all that they have crazy inventory, they did expand their shot. So let me go ahead and show you how their new, redeveloped, redesigned shot looks. <laughs> it's gonna be their new face. I mean, they're not quite done with it yet. And you see this thing on the wall over here that's kind of, it's, it's empty, but he's kind of deciding what to do with that. They got a workbench over there, so in case you buy any optics or whatever, for now, you can put it over, to, you can put it together over there, and they do have a gunsmith in there that will show you how to do it. But yeah, this is their new, they kind of bought the next building over and made it their own. So, but anyways, let's go ahead and show you what we got picked out. So like I told y'all, we already have a couple of things picked out, and we're going to be using Ben today. You see we got Jared over there on the phone. And then we have a new person. Hello. Go ahead and introduce yourself. This is the first time on the channel. Hello, I'm Chris. I'm with Online Sales and Media Management for Spartan Defense. There it is, there it is. All right, so like I told y'all earlier, we're gonna be doing our top five most expensive items, Spartan Defense edition. What would be the first one? We're gonna start with the CZ Scorpion Evo 3. Now this starts at 27.99, solely due to because it's an integrally suppressed PCC, nine millimeter. The barrel is ported so that the gases go into the suppressor and slow that bullet down to the point where a supersonic round will be subsonic as it leaves the barrel. Think about this one, Ben. That one, so I know the last few times most people got involved with about the polymer lowers and all that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll give it that. The lightweight does help, help a lot with it. Now, as far as the worth for it, now that you know we've been doing a lot of adjustments from the whole pistol brace and you know SPR stuff uh -huh. um, as far as for the 9 nine mil for them definitely are worth it especially the suppressor I mean the only thing is gotta wait for the tax snap for all the fun stuff but for what they are because I mean a lot of stuff we're starting to become more mobile with yeah. a, lot of, a lot of things so whether it's in a bag backpack truck or car definitely gets a lot easier for us to kind of carry, carry around for it uh, nine millimeter of course doesn't have a whole lot of recoil in the first place now you got a suppressor that's gonna be working with it without having mm -hmm. you know something extremely long with yeah. it but I think it's worth it for the cost of it that they are. Uh, we do have different colors as well. We have the OD green, we also have the gray, and we also have black. In the same design? So, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I mean, my personal favorite would be the OD green, but mm -hmm. I know other people would might like the black or the um, FDE. Yeah, I'm all, I'm simple. Just just black. Just, just black. simple. Okay. Even though I do Cerakoting and all that, I can do other designs. I don't know. I just always try to find this to just have it in black. I mean, you can't you can't go wrong with that one. <laughs> On a scale of one through ten, one through ten, ten being the highest, the highest, one being lowest, what would you rate it? I would say about an eight. Eight. Because I mean, there's still other stuff that you can still do. Of course, we always have tons of guns, tons of things that we do. I do a lot of customizing units here as well. Uh, definitely a good platform to even start from. I will give it that. So I'll give it a solid eight. I give it a solid eight. Um, I've shot one of these. Our uh, owner has one of these with a binary trigger. It's a beautiful shoot. Uh, it's like shooting a BB gun. Thing is silent and inexpensive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, I without the internal suppressor, I would probably give it a seven. But with that, I'd probably give it a nine because. I, I just like the platform and the fact that it is going to be suppressed. I, I think this will be a good backpack slash even home defense, mm -hmm. yeah, especially if you SPR blowing, it. Yeah, and you're not blowing out your eardrums either. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so that's it, CZ Scorpion. That comes in, this is actually the lowest one. So now we're going to the second. Second one. Six. Okay, yeah, so the same. Okay, so let's let's start with this. Let's start with this. You know what, let's put them up side to side. Let's okay. get them side to side. We got them on there. For those of you who like Noveskis, here we go, folks. SBR style that's on there. This one's going to be in a 556, five, and of course, you got your Honey Badger. That's going to be in a 300 blackout. Of course, you're going to have your standard cube colors that are on there. The Vesky, you can have all your black that's on it. Now, with this one, you're also going to have your Geisley charging handle, Geisley trigger for all those that like Geisleys as well. Now, for your, your side of things. Yeah, this uh, Noveski is basically the same as the Q, except with Noveski hardware. 
Um, you get the Noveski lower receiver, Noveski handguard. Um, both come with ambidextrous charging handles. Um, both come with a brilliant Geisley trigger. Um, at this point, it would come down to whether or not you want 556 or 300 blackout. And the Cherry Bomb muzzle brake uh, already adapts to the Q existing Q suppressors. So it depends upon whether or not you're biased towards Noveski or Q. I don't know about you, but I love me as Noveski. <laughs> <laughs> They're awesome. And those of you that are big fanboys about them, you guys know what I'm talking about with it. But you gotta think, look at how smooth that is, man. That thing is just so nice. Right, Geisley triggers, you can never go wrong with them. So. Safety off. Oh, yeah. Is that, that a single stage? Single stage, yep. I mean, watch, watch that reset that's on there. Yeah, nice and light. Oh, right back crazy. into it again. You can never go wrong with these. Now, I love me 300 blackout, SBR, and that's why I'm all about compactness, being able to carry it with you, be comfortable. Mm -hmm. Does it come with the price? Noveski, if you know their quality, they're awesome. Mm -hmm. Never had any issues, really comfortable fitting that's on it. All your controls right where you need to be at, so. As you can see, 45 is on the set. You got it on there. All ambidextrous. It's just so comfortable, man. You, these are so nice. You can't go wrong with one of these. And, and what's the price point that this one comes in at? So this one is going to be 32.99. Okay. And now for the honey badger. Honey badger is just slightly less at 29.99. So now with that one being lower. Would you still go with the Dovesky over the Honey Badger? Well, I'm a fanboy. Okay. I'm a fanboy with them. We, we all have our gives and takes. Those people that'll give me crap, you know, go with the Honey Badger, you can never go wrong. But both are very reliable guns, right? uh -huh. especially for the size of what they are. I mean, 300 blackout, 556. Five, now, I do prefer for something this small, 300 blackout. It's yeah. nice to have that good 30 caliber. Being able to go subsonic, you already have it already set up for a suppressor. So, the options are pretty balanced. It's just, you know, again, I also like black. <laughs> Gotta love it. I would so, say, all the, the, uh, yeah, the only thing that would motivate me to get a Noveski is the features. So, as uh -huh. you can see, we've got a dust cover while the Q does not. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yep. We've got ambidextrous controls. So, that's an ambidextrous bolt release on both mm -hmm. sides, ambidextrous mag release on both sides. Both uh, have an ambidextrous safety. Um, however, the Q Honey Badger only comes with one side bolt release, one side charging or uh, mag release. You get flip up sights with the Noveski as well. Uh, let's get the looks like the mag pull furniture. Um, at that point, you would just be down to features. Okay, so you so you actually do get a lot more with this one, actually. Those beautiful guns, man. But Definitely. I don't know, like, I, <laughs> <laughs> Look like he got a little attachment to that one. <laughs> oh. I'll take this one. Oh, you, really you know what you're going to rank that one. One out of ten, what you ranking it? Uh, Eleven. Eleven, there you go. <laughs> a little bit of bias in they, there. They run They run great, man. Mm -hmm. like, it's some like, for those of you who have owned it or haven't even shot one, you guys know they're smooth, they're accurate. Like Just everything about most of your AR builds, this is what's going to have with it. Especially when it already comes with the Geisley triggers, so you're not forever looking for them. Trying to find them online, trying to swap it out. It's already set, ready to go for you. Out the box, okay. And now what would you rank the Honey Badger? I'll give it a nine, because it's pretty much the same, just if you're ambidextrous and then the colors are the other things, they're both lightweight. So I'll give I'll give it the nine. I'll give it right underneath it. It's just the love I have. I got you, I got you. What about you? <laughs> you know, I'd give Noveski 10 out of 10, Q 10 out of 10. That's I think they're at. pretty equivalent. Yeah. Um, it would just depend on whether or not you're willing to pay for the ambidextrous features. Um, they'll both run the same, um, they'll both be just as reliable, and they'll both cost you a pretty penny. That's true, that's true. Now, function-wise, I would give this one a 10 out of 10. I'll probably give this one a 9. I'll be right there with you. But overall, I'll probably give both of them a 10 out of 10, just like you did. But mainly because I love the aesthetics look of this one. Like, I love the way the Q looks. So I just, I think everything with this is just, they did the, they did a perfect job on this. I mean, he's over there with the. <laughs> it's just nice, I mean, it's everything ambidextrous. I mean, not that I'm right-handed or left-handed, but I mean, for those of you who does CQB, switching left shoulder to right shoulder, being able to switch your hands, being able to have all those controls when you need it, yeah. it's definitely there. Yeah, so just the option. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, you can't miss with either one of them, so there y'all go. Now we're, let's go on to the third. 
There we go. So a lot of y'all should recognize this one, but for those who don't, go ahead and tell us what we're looking at. All right. So now they're starting to build them in the pistol, the FNs. This one is in a 5.56. Five, the scars are going to be able to see, you know, whether they're going to have the stock, shorter stocks, or you're going to have your different adapters. This one's has so pretty much it's a carry. It is going to be a lot shorter barrel because, of course, it's a pistol size that's on there. As far as the weight of what they are as a pistol, mm -hmm. they're pretty light. Yeah, yeah, pretty definitely. Light. I mean, that's, again, with a lot of stuff that's changed a lot of the game to sales lately because of the pistol brace stuff and then trying to get a hold of these has changed up a little bit. But, I mean, it has given us also a lot more options, though. Mm -hmm. As far as being able to uh, want to go compact, want to choose what kind of devices you want to get to uh, rather than having one that's a full setup. Now, also charging handle notice usually they always have them on both sides yeah this one comes with one side or you can swap it over to the other okay so instead of having two so it's not i wouldn't necessarily call it like an ambidextrous because it's only one side at a time just depends what you want to do yeah do with it you still got your gas adjuster you still got your three prong the same options just a lot more smaller gives you more options to go with now it doesn't come with anything on sort on the sides but you still got a full pick rail they gave you one so if you want to hang it yeah you still want to put it on a sling and whatnot gives you that with it. Um, I have not seen these in black. We've been able to find these in the FTE has been so far. I think FTE is the one that most people would want. I mean, yeah. this one I would want. Especially for Scar. For Scar. You, you see this and it's, it's Scar. Exactly. Classic look. Yeah. It's like a Ferrari in a different color other than red. Exactly. That's like one that you expect to find it in that color. Exactly. Exactly. So, but what do you think about the 556 in a barrel that short? So with that one, I mean, it's going to be a lot different because, I mean, it's not going to be like what we had on the, uh, the Scorpion to where it's going to be a smaller round. This one's going to be the full 5.56. Five, so uh -huh. like most expected, you know, you're going to have a little bit more of a kick. Now, whatever you decide to use to kind of help with that, whether you're going to use a angle grip, um, as you put more attachments on it, it's going to add a little bit more weight, so it's going to help you control with that. It's now, if you're one that decides to want to do an, do an SBR on it, it's definitely want to do it, especially now you have the option of doing a folding stock. You use uh, different mixes. Me, I probably would be the guy that would cross-reference. I probably would do the, uh, the SIG folding one, the little steel ones that they usually have for the uh, MCXs. Yes, take it off, have it on that, because now you pretty much got one that's just as short. You can still fold it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is it changing up different companies on it, but you know what? It's stuff you like, stuff that works for me, that's what be me. And you also got it in the same colors as FDA that they come in. That's true. That's true. What about you? What's your take on it? This, uh, in my opinion, has a lot more features than, say, the Noveski. A lot of it's still ambidextrous, the safety, mag release. You know, that charging handle, you can switch it over fairly easily. Yeah. I like the fact that you can have an adjustable gas block. So if you throw a suppressor on there, you can change the amount of gas flowing through the system. If for whatever reason you get a bunch of gunk in the action, you can change it and it'll run just fine. So for the money, it depends upon what you're looking for. At least... The thing about the FNs is they're tried, tested, and true. Cannot beat the name. Other than that, yeah, it's a good firearm. A lot more features. Definitely, definitely. Okay, so one through 10, what are you putting in that? For me, I mean, you guys know the history, these things will run. Yeah. That is one thing that they will do. You pay, you pay for the quality and the functionality of these. They run all the time. So as far as that, perfect 10, I'll give it for that. The way that they're starting to sell it now, I would still give it a 10 mm -hmm. because it allows you to do a lot more with it because most of the time when we're, when we're buying it, we're looking at about what? Five, six thousand dollars by the time we're just walking out with our basic setups. Yeah. So at least with this one, you know, you're gonna be walking out 35, 49. And the fact that you also come with a shorter barrel, so seven and a half inch and you can always go longer. Mm -hmm. That's the nice thing about it. Gives you a chance for those that want to SBR, things like that. Gives you a lot more functionality with that. So overall, overall 10. Yeah, yeah. What, what about you? Yeah, uh, I'd say overall nine out of 10. My only gripe, polymer. Polymer. Yeah, okay. that's my so only you guys gripe. gave me shit for it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't After here. a while, I got a little bit of a rest. I tried them out. Okay, you guys are right. It's I wasn't bad. here. I just don't, I would expect for uh, 35, 38 out the door with tax, I would expect some metal. Yeah, yeah, quality, I see it. Quality. Yeah, I, I think that one is mainly for people who, you know, have the 17 or the 20 and they just love the FN platform the FN and the get the collection, well. yeah. FN so I, I would put that one at an eight though, for me, for me, but that's the FN. Now let's go on to number four. The Nighthawk Custom President 10 millimeter. 51.99. Ooh, yeah, gold nitride barrel. Nine plus one, 10 mil. 
That's a hefty cartridge. Yeah, definitely. Get some hard definitely. casts, you can be hunting bear with this. <laughs> um, unfortunately, single-sided safety, um, so no ambidextrous controls with this. Um, however, it's going to run, especially that 10 mil. 10 mil is going to run. Mm -hmm. Real now, light trigger. There it goes. So, you know. Now, what do you think about the spring in this? Uh, does, it, does it do anything to mitigate that 10 millimeter round? Oh, yeah. That spring is kind of tough. Okay. Okay. And I'm, I'm pretty skinny, so, you know, <laughs> spring's kind of tough. And you said the barrel is titanium nitrate? Yep. Gold okay. titanium nitrate. Yep. Okay. So, now, what do you think about it for the price of it? So for the price of these, so for those of you, if you know Nighthawk, they take they take a while to get these guns done because they're hand finished, they're hand fitted, high quality work. That's what you're paying for. These guns run. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not like, you know, of course you got Kimbers, you got all different ones. What's the biggest difference on it? It's more of the feeling on it. You can feel the quality difference when it comes to a lot of different guns that go from there. But there's one thing that does that one company that does single stacks really well. I give Nighthawk to that. Mm -hmm. So with the craftsmanship they put it in the wood, beautiful guns. There's one thing I really like is actually their grips. They look like they're aggressive, but when you actually grip on it, it's actually really comfortable. That's yeah. it. But it's also comfortable enough to where it doesn't slip or slide out of your hand at all. Gives it a lot. Gives it a lot of texture. Gives it a lot of looks to it. I personally like that. Costs. I mean, for for, for what I for what I make, I would love to have. We <laughs> 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 all. They don't make a Groupon for these. Either, so it's like. But as far as like the functionality, man, I mean, just, you know, even like the smoothness of it, it's just, yeah. Okay. I mean, it is new, so I will give it that. It's also 10 mil, but yeah. the crispness of it, I mean, just, it moves. And then. Yep, you if go. you find staccato isn't hurting your wallet enough. Mm -hmm. Nighthawk. Nighthawk. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Single sided safety for either your right handed or wrong handed. <laughs> there it is, Nighthawk. So that's coming in at number four. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there's not too much to say about a 1911. Yeah. To really know what makes this gun special, you really have to understand 1911s and and the quality the feel quality. that you'll have with these. That's the main thing. I mean, because you'll see. I mean, we've all felt guns that felt really gritty. We felt guns that just didn't feel right. Mm -hmm. When it comes to guns like these, I mean, they're gonna feel nice and smooth. And these are single stacks. Now, of course, when you start going into 2011s, it starts changing up a lot of feel. That's when you start seeing a lot of different competition guns. Guns, a lot of different versions of it all the way up to infinities but that's where it really changes that is the craftsmanship that goes into these and nighthawk takes a lot of time in, into their work mm -hmm. okay well there it is the little guy out the little guy out the little guy 50 bmg both action that good old edc yes, slash backpack sir. gun right there yep at 769 your desert tag hti bull pup bolt action 50 cal it's probably shortest 50 cal on the market today don't quote me on that <laughs> <laughs> If you ever want to see someone die tired, <laughs> this is the gun to do it with. Now, bold action, you're gonna get a, get a lot more out of it. See, I might get a joystick. I'm gonna get a little arcade with you guys. Look at him. Have a little fun fun with it, but as far as the cost wise with it, I mean, we're looking. What are we looking at with this one? Seventy six ninety nine. Now, this is true. Fifty cal really does does take it all. Now, the weight of it is a lot heavier than most of your bears that's on there. I mean. It's not a whole, I'm not like struggling to hold it up. It's it actually is pretty light. Now, is that because there's a lot of polymer on it or? So it's it's a mixed chassis. So it does have steel polymer kind of mixed in. Of course, you got to keep the sturdiness with it. Mm -hmm. uh, now, with Desert Tech, when you are ordering these, it does come in two parts. You got to order the chassis as one, and then the receiver barrel is another one because there is multiple caliber you can get it in. Okay. And it does hold in all the different chassis with all the different colors that you want. So that's one thing that is a little bit different when you are ordering from Desert Tech is that it does order separately. Okay, okay. That bustle device on there, that looks ridiculous. But well, you are shooting that 50 BMG. Now, have you guys shot this one yet? I have not shot that one personally, no. Okay. I've shot Barrett's before. Yeah. Which they're definitely a lot more heavier. Mm -hmm. You also got a, um, Technically, you got more barrel on the other end of it because this is a bullpup style. So everything's yeah. going to be recessed a lot more back. A yeah, little bit easier, a little bit more balanced if you decide to carry it, which most of the time, <laughs> some guns like this, you're not going to really carry over a backpack. You're not going to carry it on the sling. Do you have the possibility of doing that one? Not going to recommend it, but you could. Yeah. Um, to where on a Barrett, usually when you are storing away for those of you, if you've ever seen how, how Barrett is or how it's stored, it's stored in pieces. So when you're storing it, you got to put it in several different pieces, stores away, and it goes out with it. 
With this one, you can just put in a stand, standard range bag and it's gonna work just right. The only thing that might stick out a little bit, it's just gonna be just a charging handle that's gonna be on there. This looks like a standard joystick on the video game. <laughs> yeah, a little fun with it, man. But that's the thing with, with this, I mean, it just, it just makes it a lot easier to kind of travel with, go around with. It is a better price point for what they are. The other half of expenses for those of you, you know, do long range shooting, of course you're gonna have, you know, your bipods, which is probably gonna be an atlas. You're gonna about 250, maybe another 300 bucks. Um, having your scope, depending on how much you want to put into that. I mean, we've seen guys spend up, you know, probably about two, three thousand dollars just to scope by itself in your rings, and it just kind of builds from there. So, Definitely. with the cost of what this is at, to where where you want to be at, I mean, you'll still be right around the nine to ten thousand when you're done with it, plus the ammo. But compared to when you're buying other 50 cows, you're probably looking about up to 15 average. Yeah. Now, do you think it's going to have more kick because it is a bolt action? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, probably, to be honest, not by much. I mean, as far as, because I mean, so with the Barrett, if you have, if you have it on the reciprocating style that's on it, you do have a spring that does take a lot with it. But with the bolt actions, you tend to get better powder burn and get better accuracy out of it. Now, as far as the felt recoil, now I haven't shot this particular gun in general. Yeah. But as far as the same the same length of barrel with it as a bolt action, they're actually pretty comfortable still. Okay. They're pretty comfortable. They're comfortable for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, so you, you got plenty of padding here. <laughs> I'm all skin and bones, yeah. man. Look at it compared to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's still fairly light. It can light. still handle oh, it, yeah. It's still fairly yeah, light. It but, uh, it. Yeah, it's about as thick as I am. <laughs> I can hide behind it. If you want to hide, yeah, you there you go. See me. <laughs> So not too bad, not too bad of a system. Um, you know, you do get that adjustable rear rest. Um, you know, you get all the Picatinny that you could ever imagine for on a 50. Not much to say about it. There's not many features other than uh, massive bullets. Scale one through 10, what are you giving it? So as far as the features, the cost base of everything, I mean, now give or take, I never shot, I never shot this particular one. I have shot 50 BMG before. For what everything it has on it, I mean, I'll give, I'll give it a solid nine because I mean it is compact. It is a lot more shorter than standard. Most of your other uh, 50 calibers that'll be there. You do get some little features here and there to kind of help out. The only thing is just other accessories. It's all of your choice. So I'll give it a nine. Uh, overall, with the costs for what you get out of it, I'd probably say like an eight and a half. I mean, because yeah. I mean it's it's meant to do one thing. It's meant to do shoot far distances or take. Particular large items down up close. Trucks, you can't put a price on freedom. There. Boom! <laughs> you never know. There it is. There it is. <laughs> so you said you'd give it a, a nine. So I'll give I'll give it a I'll give it a nine as far as you know what the gun is, the cost what you're getting for the fit cover on it, but for overall features and everything from there, I'll probably give it about an eight. Okay. So. Okay. I, I think I'll so be like right eight there. and a half. Yeah, I think I'll be right there with you with an eight. Um, I do like the only thing I like about the bolt action is it, it is going to make it more accurate, you know. So I mean that's the only thing about that. But I do love dumping the 50 BMG. That's <laughs> that's semi-auto. I literally do love dumping that one. So I, I'll I'll be around like an eight, eight point five right there with you. What about you? Well, um, ten out of ten. 50 really? cal, you, you can't beat 50 cal. Now are you giving uh, it a 10 out of 10 because it's a 50 cal? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, I feel like people would drag me on the internet otherwise. Um, yeah, uh, if you're trying to hunt trucks, if you're trying to hunt um, elephants, you know, uh, this is your gun to do it. Um, although we all know 99% of people are just taking on this little range. Mm -hmm. um, but you can beat 50 cal. And we talk about accuracy with a 50 cal. I mean, you know, you got half an inch diameter bullet, so you don't really need to aim much. Yeah, you got, you yeah. got a massive, <laughs> massive pathway. Yeah, take out anything. You just skim them. Just yeah. breeze it past them. He's over here mag dumping over here. <laughs> you got me. I'm just controlling the cost of every round. Just count it out. Two, four, six. Oh, it adds up. It definitely adds <laughs> up. I guess hundred bucks you ever spend. If this spin. thing don't knock me down, I'll try to mag dump it. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey, that might Since be a good video. Yeah. That might be a good video. We might have to think about that one. But currently, this would be the most expensive thing at Spartan Defense. And everything that we I showed y'all is available currently. And they do price match, don't you guys? 
price yeah, match we, with any we other do store stuff match. like that. Now, so. Yeah, and then these are the goods that we just have as far as, you know, our top five as far as availability currently. Yeah. I mean, we did have an Atlas uh, like two days ago. Which we did have an Atlas that, that I was coming for. That would have been one that you guys would have liked to show. Because oh, I mean, yeah. a lot of people see, you know, just like you guys are now, videos of it. Being able to see like how it's handled, how it feels with it, being able to describe a little bit more in depth than what most people do. That's one of the things that we try to do for you guys here. And two days ago, we just sold it. Um, same thing with like the Cicado XCs. You guys been with us on Cicado days. So being able to see how those go, go with. Oh, our aliens. Yeah. Those, I think we haven't done anything with alien. Yep. Um, but those ones we have, we sold like three of them within the last two weeks. So we, we do move a lot of product through here. So as far as what was featured today, this is what we have available as far as currently. Yeah, it's on there because I know you guys, you know, other guns that are expensive out there. You guys want to see other ones. This is just what we have in store right now. Yeah. So, so like he said, they do move a lot of stuff really quick. So, if you want something, you gotta you, you gotta get on the job because um, somebody was looking at that atlas and they missed out on it. They're trying to yeah. negotiate too much. Right? Easy. Don't negotiate or like, well, let me think about it. Let me clear it with the wife or girlfriend or whatever. Say, like another thing. God for seeing this. But that's usually when they come back because we move so much here. Usually our average for a lot of body guns. The easy last about a week is usually our average time. Yeah. So y'all see it, y'all see it. If y'all want something, don't wait too long. But like I said in the beginning of the video, make sure y'all subscribe, make sure y'all hit that like button. I will leave their link. I will pin their link in the comments. Y'all boys go check them out. And on to the next one, I'll catch y'all in the next video.